Some people say that Belgium is one of the world's most beautiful places. It's a country full of medieval towns, renaissance buildings, rivers, parks, cute towns, and has some of the most beautiful and lovely city breaks in Europe. Located in the northwest of Europe, next to the North Sea, Belgium is still one of the most overlooked places to visit in Europe, but for you that's going to change. Starting my list with the second largest city, Antwerp, it's the place to go in Belgium if you want to make your trip more luxury. It's known as the diamond capital of the world, you can expect it to be the height of luxury in every way. The past goes back to the Middle Ages. There are four things that the city is famous for. Rubens, diamonds, fashion, and its second largest port in Europe. More than 70% of the world's rough diamonds are bought and sold in the diamond district. Antwerp has a lot of different types of buildings from different times. The Cathedral of Our Lady is one of the most popular places to visit in Antwerp. It's a beautiful Gothic church that was built in the 1400s and is filled with art by Flemish masters. People also love to visit the Central Station, which is thought to be one of the most beautiful train stations in the world. You'll see museums like the Museum Anne de Struen, the Rubenschutz, and the Museum of Modern Art. These museums show how the culture has changed over time. With so many bars, clubs, and music places, Antwerp has a lively nighttime scene for people who want to have fun. That's right, history buffs, that's Waterloo, the place where Napoleon lost the famous battle. It's a town in Belgium, south of Brussels. It's known as the place where Emperor Napoleon lost his last battle in 1815. But to mark the moment when Napoleon's army was finally beaten, the Lion's Mound is a man-made hill south of town that looks out over the battlefield. On top of the hill is a statue in the shape of a lion. From the top, you can see beautiful views of the area, it has a dome at the base that holds the panorama of the battle, a huge round picture. The nearby is an underground museum that shows how important the fight was in history. Things from the time and a 3D movie at an underground shrine tell the story of this important fight in European history. The Waterloo Lion isn't really in Waterloo, it's on the land of a village next to it. Next place is located east of Brussels and is known for its brewers. Leuven, a small but beautiful city, it's one of the oldest colleges in Europe. It has many interesting cultural and historical sites, such as the beautiful the Gothic-style St. Peter's Church, the University Library, a beautiful building built by the famous builder Henry van de Velde, is another well-known landmark, and the one-of-a-kind Old Market Square. There are also many museums in the city, like the M. Leuven Museum. It's also home to the biggest brewery in the world. If you go, you can see where the famous Stella Artois beer is made or have a drink in the marketplace. The city is also known for the Leuven Beer Festival, which happens every year in April and has more than 300 beers from around the world. Next is the town in the southern part of Belgium, Balian, close to the border with France. With its view of the Simois River, the ancient Balion Castle is what it's known for. From here, you can see a stunning view of the whole city. One way to get to know the city better is to follow one of its climbing trails. Because of its amazing nature, it's without a doubt one of the most beautiful towns in Belgium. It's located along the river, a multimedia exhibit called the Afrioscope Godfrey de Bolian. It shows the life and times of Godfrey of Bolian, who used to live in a castle and was a warrior. The Ducal Museum is close by and shows the past of the area through paintings, guns, and other everyday items. When people talk about the best places to visit in Belgium, they always bring up Ghent. Located in the northwest of Belgium that is known for its university, it has beautiful streets and parks lined with old buildings, trendy cafes, and traditional restaurants serving delicious Belgian food. The city's strategic value is shown by its large medieval churches and castles. The city has been rebuilt in a way that keeps its ancient feel. Also, Ghent's canals are truly amazing. They not only offer stunning views, but they also make it possible to see the city by boat. Who can take a boat ride along the canals and explore the city? Its heart is famous for buildings from the Middle Ages, like those from the 12th century. Gravenstein Castle and St. Mark's Bridge Cathedral are two of the city's most popular tourist spots. The Gravenstein dates back to the 12th century. The famous altarpiece can be found in St. Bavo's Cathedral, which is another well-known site. 
Another thing that shouldn't be forgotten is the creative street art. These works of free art are loved by everyone and are often bright, strange, or clever. There are a lot of students in the city, which makes the nighttime and underground music scene, which includes bars and parties, very lively. Next is this small romantic town, Dainant, located in Belgium's Walloon area. It's not very big, but Dainant is a very pretty city. It's great for a day trip or a weekend break because it is surrounded by hills and marked with well-known spots. It has famous Belgian houses, a citadel that is hundreds of years old, and a Gothic church. The citadel is one of the best things to see in Dainant. It's an ancient castle that sits on a rock high above the town. You can hike up to the fortress to see beautiful views of the area and look around. The Meuse River winds through the town and the stunning hills. To enjoy the natural beauty of the area, who can take a boat ride along the river or go hiking in one of the nearby nature parks? Victima du Memorial Park is a monument for people who died in World War I. Number 2 is Bruges. It's a beautiful city, known as the Venice of the North. It's a classic European city with all the things that Europe is known for, like artistic narrow cobblestone streets, lots of greenery, ancient center is a world heritage site, canals that run through the middle of the city. Though can take a boat ride along the canals and walk through the city's cute streets and parks, and traditional restaurants that serve delicious Belgian food. The city's main square, the Markt, is home to the famous Belfry Tower and the Hell Building from the Middle Ages. The Basilica of the Holy Blood is another must-see site. It's home to a holy object that is said to contain a drop of Christ's blood. For art fans, the Grange Museum is a must-see. It has a wonderful collection of Flemish and Dutch works from the 1400s to the 1900s. And you can't leave Bruges without trying the famous chocolate and beer, which you can find in many shops and bars. One of the best places to visit in Belgium is Brussels, a city that is way underrated and doesn't get nearly as much attention as it deserves. Not only it's the capital of Belgium, it's also the center of government for Europe. It's a lively and international city that combines modern energy with old world charm with roots going back to 979 AD. The Grand Place is thought to be one of the most beautiful places in the world. You can start your day in the old city center. The Maison du Roy Museum is one of the best places to see in Brussels. The Atomium is another well-known landmark, a beautiful modern building with sweeping views of the city. There are also many museums and art galleries in the city, like the Magritte Museum and the Museum of Natural Sciences. It has many well-preserved examples of magnificent medieval buildings such as the Caldenburg Palace and many more. Everyone who likes to travel should put Brussels at the top of their list of places to see. These are the beautiful places in Belgium that you should not miss. Need help making plans and getting the best deal on a trip to Belgium or another European country? Come to ushistorians.com to see travel posts.